every mental illness demonic? Let me be very quick on this one. No, not every mental illness is demonic, but here's the caveat. A lot of people that have been diagnosed with mental illness actually have a demon. When you have people that say, oh, I have 10 personalities, and then these personalities manifest out of them and make them speak a certain way, talk a certain way, and have an, its own name, that's a demon. Okay, I know my friends, my deliverance friends are like, you're wrong. It's okay, you could think I'm wrong, but um, that's a demon. If you have 10 personalities, those are 10 different demons in you. They're just naming themselves. Here's the thing you guys gotta remember. When you go to a doctor, a licensed doctor, and they're gonna diagnose you, no doctor is going to say, oh, one second you're fine and happy and nice, and the next second you're angry and you're raging and you're throwing stuff. That's just bipolar. A doctor's not going to say it's a demon. A doctor's not going to say, oh, you have a demon of rage. Oh, yeah, it's a demon of anger. They're going to say you are bipolar. Oh, you have voices telling you to kill yourself? Oh, what is that? Let's look in our book of 500 mental illnesses. Oh, you're schizophrenic. Oh, there's a voice telling you to cut your arm. Oh, let's see. What is that? Oh, that's, uh, okay, that's this. Oh, you have a voice telling you that there's a little person in you saying you're a boy, not a girl. Oh, that's, um, that's, uh, what is it? Dissociative personality disorder, disassociative. I don't know what. One of those. You're one of those. You have that. Let's give you some medicine. Let's numb you. Let's turn you into a zombie, into a robot. Like, guys, I have friends that went to the doctor because they have, uh, manic depression and chronic, all this stuff. There's no test. There's no brain exam. There's no scan. So all of you, they're like, no, brother. They just say, oh, you're depressed all the time. Here's medication that's going to block indoor, uh, block receptors and open up indoor. Guys, so is there people that have chemical imbalance? Yes. Is there people that have, they're born where there's a p missing piece of their brain? Yes. But a lot, that's the, that's true. And there could be medication that could help. But a lot of the time when you go to the doctor and they go, oh, let me just write here my thing. Oh, you have this. Here's some medication. There's no test. There's no looking for levels. There's no checking. And now they're saying antidepressants don't even change your serotonin levels. After how many years of us all taking antidepressants, now they're saying this doesn't even change your, uh, your serotonin levels. And don't even get me started with the billions of dollars these pharmaceutical companies. You think they care about you? No. They're making billions of dollars, making, you know, oh, help me, Lord. These pharmaceutical guys, they brag and they, they, oh, this big pharmaceutical guy, $580 million yacht, brand new yacht, 580 million. He broke the record, the most expensive yacht ever. Who is this guy building a $580 million yacht? Oh, that's the guy that's the CEO of the Fauci ouchie. He has, a, he just made a five and he's bragging. He's like, look at my $500 million yacht. I'm just saying, guys, I'm just saying, Pharmakia, now, I have a lot of family in medical. I respect all of you medical professionals, doctors, nurses. I love you guys. Again, some of my family and best friends are doctors and nurses. I love it. And there's a place for medicine. Luke was a physician, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this mental illness crisis where every time a demon manifests or you have a stronghold in your life or something happens, they throw medication at you. You don't even need a prescription. We're just going to throw it at you. Just stay right there. We're going to put it right over the counter. Within five minutes, you can have some of the strongest steroids that you could get your hands on because you walked in and said, I'm sad in the mornings. Maybe you're sad and depressed because you don't know God. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe you're depressed because um, you do tarot cards and new age and psychic readings and maybe you're depressed because you're giving your body to other men and you're getting creating soul ties and you're getting their demons and you have std sexually transmitted demons have you thought about that i mean there's a million reasons why i could say some of you are depressed out here but instead i'm just going to throw a pill at you and try to mess up your receptors in your brain and get you addicted i don't know so don't, but please hear my heart yes there's there's medical conditions yes but I'm telling you right now, if you're telling me that you're hearing all these voices and these characters are in your brain, uh, we're going to take you through deliverance. A pill is not going to stop that voice in your brain that has a name and an identity. It's going to get the power of God deliverance.